Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. This is part two of my video. I just did an unboxing of this Breville espresso machine. Now I'm gonna do the setup procedure. So I've unboxed everything and I'm gonna start with step one of the quick start guide of setting it up. But this is the Breville Espress BES870XLA. So I was able to get this um, renewed from Amazon for $522, this thing normally sells for $700. I haven't found anything wrong with it. They said there was some imperfections on it. I haven't seen any imperfection on, on it at all. It comes in a um, generic box, but other than that, it looks like everything has been installed. I haven't turned it on or powered it on yet, but that, uh, that should work. Again, I am new to this. Um, I've never had this machine, so I will be setting it up. I'll be reading the instructions step by step to make sure they work. There are lots of people out there that are experts with this machine. This is a very nice machine, um, but this is kind of my journey. I've done an unboxing and this is gonna be a setup. Then I'm gonna use it for a while and then I will do some videos on how to use it later on. Fiona wants to be a part of the video too. She's my little helper, Fiona. Okay, so again, I've got everything unboxed. Again, we're gonna start with the water filter. So here's the water filter, and it came, it came with one water filter. I opened it up, it says we're gonna let it soak. So you let it soak for five minutes, and then we're gonna rinse it, and then we're gonna put it in the holder and put it in the tank. So here I've got the water. I thought this was originally a charcoal filter, but I, I may be wrong with that. I don't know what's inside there, because normally when it's a charcoal filter, that water turns um, like a gray, but this and it doesn't look like that so i'm not sure what's in there but it is a water filter so i've let it soak for five minutes now i'm going to take this over to the sink and and just run it run water through it to kind of just give it a rinse so here we have the water reservoir so while i was letting that soak this has got a nice little handle that lifts up the water reservoir so i went ahead and cleaned this water reservoir i washed it with soap and water and gave it a good rinse so now it's ready to go for the water filter and there is a nice instruction manual on how to install the water filter so they recommend this water filter be changed every two months so this says replacement due date so right now it is july so seven eight in the month of nine which is july september august september which is september sorry about that so not, that corresponds to the month that it needs replaced. So to put the filter in, it's got these two little things we're going to depress on each side. These are a little harder than normal water filters, okay? So now you're going to put this in. There's a flat side and a round side. So the round side is going to go up because that's all kind of rounded up in there. And then the flat side is going to stick down. Then you're going to put this on and it snaps on both sides, okay? There we've got our water filter ready to install. Here I've got the water reservoir. You gotta kinda get the lid opened up all the way and then it should just snap, see it should snap on there like that. Okay, now if I try to lift it up, if you don't snap it on, these things will float and then they're not doing anything. So that's where the water goes into the machine and if you snap it on, it'll have to go through that filter before it can go in the machine. So with it on, the lid still closes. That's good. You can see the lid still closes. But I'm gonna go fill this up with water now. Okay, so I've got this filled with water. You know, the hinge is pretty beefy, um, but you're gonna, the Breville's gonna stick out to you. There's these big things that's gotta go on. Slide it on, make sure it goes all the way down. And then you're gonna just, you gotta kind of manipulate this handle and then you gotta snap it on. And there, I'm filled up to the max line. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the bean hopper. Okay, so here's the coffee bean hopper. Again, it's got a lid. This is, you just turn that a little bit and then this will pop off. Okay, that's your bean hopper. And then here's your grinder, it's got a little handle. Be careful, that is kind of sharp down there. You just turn it, see? It's in lock, go to unlock. Okay, and then it lifts up. 
Now to put it in, it's kind of loose. You don't think you have it right, but then once, once you just keep turning it, it'll, then you hear a little snap. Now it's installed right, stow the handle. And then again, you just set this on there. This really doesn't have a front to back, but I like to do it with the arrow pointed to the right. There, it will only go one. It, it kind of, you gotta rotate it. Once you have it on, then you're just gonna rotate this and it snaps. Okay, that means the bean hopper is locked on. Okay, so now it says to fill the bean hopper with some coffee beans. And I just bought some whole bean coffee. And this lid's got kind of a rubber seal. It just snaps on. There, just kind of press it down. Okay, so now we're going to plug the unit in. It is a three-prong plug. I've got it plugged in. There's no other power switches, just on the front panel, so there's nothing hidden. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. So here's our power button. We've got a filter size, program button, and a shot button, and a pressure gauge. So again, I don't have the port filter installed or anything. It says to simply just turn it on now. And I can hear the pump has started. And it says the pump starts, machine heats, wait for buttons to illuminate. So I'm waiting for these buttons here to illuminate. These are already on. The power button is flashing. So I'll have to see how long it takes for these to come on. But, but the pump did kick on, I did hear that. And that's about all right now. Okay, so that did not take very long at all. Um, about a minute. And over here on the right, just make sure this is in the standby position. That's how it comes shipped. But it's got a position to the right and the left. So I just make sure it's in the middle. You are gonna wanna make sure your, your drip tray is installed. We're not gonna remove it during this process. So make sure it's installed. You're gonna be directing this probably down to that little hole right there, so be careful. Okay, so I've got a container. There's gonna be water coming out here where the porta filter goes in. So we're gonna press this button right here as a flush. This is the single shot. There's a double one. So we're just gonna press the single one. So it looks like it's primed pretty good. The, mach the machine was a little loud. And that's it. So now it says we're gonna run water out of the steam wand. So I'm gonna try having it pointed down into that hole. And it says the first thing we're gonna do is run this to the steam, and then we're gonna do it to the water. So it says run it to the steam for 10 seconds. All right, let's go to steam. I'll watch the clock on my phone here. This water is, this light is flashing. So it's been about 10 seconds. And I'm gonna stop it, so not. All right, so let's try that again. Go to steam. Let's wait until we get some steam to come out. Right, we got some pretty good steam coming out. All right, let's turn that off. This water is flashing. Let's turn it to the hot water. Oh, that's the hot water spigot right there. Okay. I thought the hot water was gonna come out of there, but it doesn't. All right, I was wondering what that was. There's where the hot water comes out, right there. Be careful, it's hot. All right, so we do get quite a bit of steam up here on the machine. Okay, so one thing I've noticed with these espresso machines is there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know. Like when I turned the, the steam off, the pump kicked on again, even though I had the, the steam off, and then you'll, you'll see a bunch of steam coming out of here like down inside of here, you know, there's all kinds of areas that the machine is working behind the scenes. So just always make sure you've got the tray. You'll hear stuff going on behind the scenes. You'll see steam coming out of your tray. That's all normal. 
you can see I've even got some condensation and there's some steam that's come out. It's kind of been around the glass. So there's just a lot going on with these machines. Even when you're not pressing buttons, you'll hear pumps run, you'll hear steam, you'll hear hot water. Okay, so that is it as far as priming. That's probably the simplest priming I've ever done on an espresso machine or even some coffee makers. Uh, the priming the pump can take a long time and kind of complicated, but you pretty, pretty much turn it on, run a single shot, and run some steam through it over here with the steam wand. Uh, that's it. So now it wants us to get in. So I am going to run an espresso shot. I'm going to grind some beans. Again, I'm not an expert with this machine. This is a journey that I'm on. Um, I hope this video helps you set up your machine, but I will show you how it does do an espresso. Now again, I, some of my things may not be completely right with it. I am going to learn. But uh, this was just, this is a journey of me uh, getting this machine for the first time and doing it per the instructions. So one thing I haven't learned yet is this port of filter, getting these filter baskets. These, this, this, it comes with this double shot one in there. You have all of these others that you can choose from. But getting this out has proved to be kind of a challenge. Um, it does have kind of like a, a, an area you can grip, but man. It is quite challenging. Ooh. Okay, so gripping it with a towel helped, but that is really in there. Um, and I don't like to use tools on things. Um, but man, that is really in there. And it really hurt taking it out. One thing I've learned is you're gonna have to have a towel readily available because they want you to preheat this portafilter with the hot water dispenser. And then you're gonna be drying it off. You'll have to dry it off when you're done. So, but man, that was... Boy, they snap in there and it doesn't get any easier. But using a towel, did I'm sure there's a trick to this. I'm sure there's some tool or, or something. But man, and the directions don't show you how to do that. So you can get it out. There's what it looks like. Okay, so we've got our filters. These are single wall filters and that's what comes installed. It's missing, it goes right there. And these are dual wall filters. You use these with pre-ground coffee. And you use these if you're going to use the grinder on the machine to grind them. Yeah, they look a little too... Oh, yeah, the, the... That's definitely a lot different. Huh. Okay, so let's pre-warm this... And we're going to be turning this knob to the hot water. So I'm going to be turning it this way. And then hot water will come out. They also show that you should be pre-warming your uh, cup. So let's see. how I may make a mess. Again, not an expert, but let's... I'm slowly turning the knob. They're saying to preheat the portafilter. And I turned it off. All right. Now we got to dump that out. If you can just dump it in there. Yeah. And you got, like I said, you got to have a towel handy. I don't know if you need to clean your, your wipe your espresso cup off, but they do say that this has to be dry. So clean your porta filter uh, filter off. It's yeah, it's definitely a little warm. Okay. So we're going to set the porta filter right here. Okay. Okay, so that starts the grind when you push it in. So I guess um, I'm going to do a nine grind. I just wasn't ready for it. I didn't. I knew there was a micro switch. I knew that was a micro switch. I just didn't realize. Yeah. See, it says push once for auto, push and hold. For manual okay so there I didn't select my filter size so I kind of messed things up a little bit so you put the porta filter here but when you push it in it starts the grinder and again I can change the filter size I should have done a double shot there's a single okay so before you uh, don't push just set this in if you set it there it won't start come over here and set your grind size now again um, 
we're going to go finer and it even says so that's coarse so when you go this way it's really fine so let's go let's try a five okay i'm gonna have to dump that out darn it i started it again okay so i made i made a mess but i, I could edit it out I'm going to leave it in. I just want to show you how sensitive it is. So I set it in here and I thought, well, I'll make sure and not press it. But man, you just push it in a little bit and it starts to grind again. Okay, so let's just go over this grinder. It turned out to be more of a, more, more troublesome than this side. So I've got the coffee beans in. You set your grind size, um, the grind amount. I don't know about that yet, but we're going to press the filter size. We're going to go to a double. Again, make sure this is dry. I had to wash this out and dry it again. And again, there's that micro switch. So make sure you're ready. Just gonna set it there. Okay, so now I think I'm ready and I'm just gonna push it in. Again, I got a lot to learn with this machine, um, but this is just an unboxing setup and I'm going to do a really quick espresso shot again. So it might be completely wrong, but I'm going to show you according to the quick start guide how to do it. So there is a big warning. It, it says, you know, it's got a kind of like a big description, auto start grinding, push to grind. So, and it does say pick your filter size first. These settings are recommended as a starting point. Okay, so I should have, I should have had this switch. Okay, the, the, you know, I, this is what I get for not reading the directions step by step. If I'd have read them step by step, like I said I was going to, I wouldn't have run into problems. So this came with it down like that. So it recommends putting this switch, which is the grind amount, right there. You're gonna put the filter and then you're gonna push the machine in. And I got, wait, I got too much so I'm going to have to dump that out and try again. It even says to put the grind size on five. So I got that part right by guessing. Dry this thoroughly. So I'm finding this to be tricky. Drying that, um, when you wash it out and stuff, drying the inside of this can be kind of tricky. Now, nobody ever says making espresso is a clean job. I know normally when I do it, I, it does seem to make a mess. But here's kind of the mess I've made so far. I'm gonna give this a try again. I've got my settings, I've got the filter size and the grind amount. Again, there is that micro switch. We're gonna be very careful. So I've got my porta filter again. It's not warmed up by now, but let's put it in and just push it. Okay, that looks a lot better. I didn't get a lot of it around. Okay, so you are gonna need this razor that it comes with. 54 millimeter razor. So this is what comes in that little box like I showed you in the unboxing. We're gonna need this. We're gonna need the tamper. The tamper is just held up there with a magnet. Okay, so we're gonna leave it mounted like that. We're going to tamp it, give it a nice even press, and then it talks about using this razor, hold it on its side, put this in, I did not get a lot of stuff with this, there's what the tamp looks like. Okay, so take your glass out. They want you to hit the single um, shot without the portafilter in. So leave the portafilter out. They want you to rinse the portafilter with some water. Okay. That's not going to take very long at all. Okay. Now they want us to put the portafilter in. 
right there. And then we're going to turn it to the lock. I got to hold the machine till it goes to the. It looks like I can go past the lock. Normally you want to go at a, a 90 degree angle. So we'll go at a 90 degree angle. Okay, I'm going to put my cup back underneath there. And I'm going to do, I'm going to press the double shot. should have showed you the pressure gauge sorry this pressure gauge is really important when you're brewing the espresso shot i was too worried about that there, there's just a lot going on with these with these more expensive machines but here's a rough idea it's cooled off a little bit Let's see how the shot did. Let's and turn it this way. It'll come down. Okay, so yeah, that does not look right at all. I did not do a good job there. So I've got some, I've got some learning to do. Uh, I just wanted to show you that puck does not look right at all. I'm gonna try to redeem myself. Again, I've got, I've put another uh, espresso shot in. I don't know if you're supposed to go past there Normally it comes out at a 90 degree angle. I'm just not sure. And the directions weren't very clear either. So I'm gonna do a double shot. I did a little coarser grind. And let's watch the pressure gauge this time instead of concentrating on the flow coming out. So you want it to be in this range, and I was nowhere near that range. So I've got a lot to learn with this machine, a lot to learn. I'd recommend getting some extra beans. If this is your first time using this machine, it is gonna take some, quite a bit of coffee beans to learn. But the quick start guide is very, is, it looks like it's gonna be pretty helpful. So I was under, under extraction. Um, and that's what I've got to do. I've got over extraction if the needle is over there. This is a really nice man manual. This, this really helps out. So it even, so I did an under extraction and if you follow it down, it gives you the symptoms. Yeah, that pretty much sums up. But then it tells you what to do. It says grind size, adjust and retest. So we want to turn it and then I want to add, increase the grind amount and always tamp to line so I went the wrong way I should have ground finer I need to grind it finer and I need to add a little bit more um, of the amount of grind in it and it talks about the tamping force 30 to 40 pounds of pressure and here's something else so after you extract it so let's take a look at my, my puck's not gonna be right I know that yeah it, it's not right and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go um, knock this out into the trash can. But it, then it says to run um, a shot through it to help clean it. Okay, so I rinse this off in the sink. Um, this is gonna be a nice thing to remember. Put it to the lock position and run a single shot through the porta filter to help clean it out. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a great step. So when you do that, you still have to do a little bit more cleaning work to do. So I'm going to have to rinse this off of the sink and dry it real good. So this is like a challenge now. So I am going to go, I'm going to go finer. So I was at five. Let's go down to, let's go down to four. And again, it said I needed more. So let's go down to more. I got my porta filter cleaned and dried. quite a bit more okay so I've got my tamper 
Again, this is a whole art in itself. Okay, and it says to use the trimmer. Yeah, I did get a, I did get some out that time. Okay, so let's put it in. Double shot. So it came up higher. I'm definitely doing the right direction. Still undershot though, okay. So at least I'm, in, I'm doing the, well, I got a lot to learn, but at least I'm going in the right direction. I need to increase the grind amount. I need to go a little finer and keep working with the porta filter, making sure it's clean and preheated and all that. So let's go into frothing some milk. Let's see how that did. Still got some, I got some water on top of it still. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So during all of this, this gets really warm up here. This gets really warm. So you're gonna to wanna to preheat your cups up here, which is what I should have been doing. You know, yeah, I wouldn't wanna leave my hand on here too long. That gets pretty hot and it gets hot all over. This is a big square that gets hot. Not over here, but right here, it is, it is hot. Okay, so let's, here's the milk jug. We're gonna try, I don't have any milk, but we're gonna try the steam wand and see how that works. Okay, so with the steam wand, we've got, remember, we've got steam. Make sure this is pointed there. We've got steam or water. When I go to water, water comes out that little hole right there. And turn it off. So I've got some water in here. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to go to steam. I just want to demonstrate how loud it is, how long it takes. Yeah, these are pretty loud. Kind of ear piercing how loud it is. Wow. I don't know why they gotta be so loud. Okay. And again, when you turn it off, there's a bunch of steam that comes out inside the machine inside there. And then the pump kicks on, and it talks about wiping that off after each time. So you can see, give yourself lots of room. You know, if this is your first time using it, you're probably gonna make a mess like I did. Um, so I tried these espressos. These were not made correctly. Um, they were really bitter to me and acidic-like. So I've been watching some videos online with these guys that really know what they're doing, the guys and ladies. Um, and they say that it tastes really good. I wanna get to that point. Now this machine may not get me there. I know the grind has a lot to do with it, uh, but this is a really expensive machine. I've got a lot to learn with it. I'm gonna watch their videos. But uh, if you're new to uh, one of these machines, you give yourself, you're not gonna be able to, to make a drink right away if you're new to this, because this is definitely gonna take some work. Let's take a look at this. You know, there's a, let's look at cleanup. There's a lot going on here. Again, that's where the tools go. You do have the tool storage, but let's see how this all works. Yeah, that looks like it. You know, they've, they've got this design somewhat, you know, they know there's going to be coffee grounds right here. So they're, they're wanting you to catch some of the, this is the coffee grind separator that talks about. Now this is kind of hot, so be careful.
and that thing got really full. I've still got quite a, what's impressive though is this, I've done a lot of playing around, a lot of steam, a lot of, of everything. That's my first tank of water and I'm only halfway down. So that's a good sign. This, this tank's gonna last a while. You do get a lot of uh, water that is, you know, but I dumped some down in there. So, but that's gonna be easy to clean up. So I am gonna do a video on how to descale this. It has a descale light, it's got a program light. There's a lot to learn here. Um, I'm also gonna do a comparison. This is a $200 Amazon espresso machine. I'm also gonna compare it to some other ones, but um, yeah, there's a lot to learn here, a lot. It seems very well built. This was just a setup. Um, I did do an espresso shot. I didn't have any milk to frost some milk, but it was really loud. So check out my videos on, on the future. I'll be doing some more videos on this machine, like I said, with some comparisons with it. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.